From that, let's turn our attention to updates from the Economic um, and Financial Crimes Commission, where the chairman says it's uncovered how a religious sect in Nigeria is laundering money for terrorists. Chairman of the Anti-Graft Agency, Olaolukoyede, uh, uh, said that the body has found to be protecting a money launderer after some money suspected to have been laundered was traced to the organization's bank account. Well, let's talk about um, the impact the religious bodies are having on the national economy. I'm joined by Prelate of the Catholic Church and former President of the Christian Association of Nigeria. Captain John Onayekon, thank you for joining us again on TVC News. Thank you very much. God bless you. Is there a sense we, to which you are surprised about this development that um, a particular religious body is being used as an active um, laundering machine for a terrorist group? Uh, unfortunately, we, we are still waiting to hear what is, who, is this who are these religious bodies, who is exactly behind it, and it is not fair on religious bodies in Nigeria to leave us in the dark in this matter. We want to know those who are doing this because this is not what religious bodies are supposed to be doing in the nation. The religious bodies are not supposed to be laundering money for terrorists. Religious bodies are not supposed to be involved in uh, criminal activities. And when a religious body gets involved in criminal activities, they should be handled as criminals, full stop. And they shall have no, no, there is no reason why they should be given any kind of special treatment or given an alibi because they claim to be religious leaders. It is about time that we just face the reality. We all know what religion should is ought to be, to be all about. Religion is about God, about good living, about, about moral behavior, about peaceful work living together between human beings and with a relationship with our God. Whenever people carry out criminal activities, even they are shouting the name of God a thousand times, that is not religion. They are simply misusing religion. I'm anxious to find to hear which religious bodies EFCC is talking about. We deserve to know, so that right. we can be able to separate the chaff from the grains. The anti is actually calls it a religious sect. But recently, you mentioned that there is evidence of progress in the African Church and that it's really making an impact. Do you think that we probably have a proliferation of churches and that that needs to be checked, particularly with the many cases of um, criminality that we are hearing from religious bodies? Many cases of criminality from religious bodies? I think you are, you are exaggerating. We have had just one case now. I don't think that, that, that um, guarantees to speak about many cases of religious is getting involved in, uh, in criminal activities. I don't think we can say that as of now. That there are some religious bodies who may get themselves involved in criminal activities, I have, cannot guarantee for anybody. One good thing in Nigeria is this. We have many kinds of religious bodies. And many people go around claiming to be religious leaders. And they have freed to, to call themselves what they like. But what it does mean, however, is that the state must have clear rules and guidance to make sure that nobody uses religion to do things that are against the good of this community. That is why the laws are there. And the law does, should not, uh, does not respect persons. There is nothing in our constitution saying that a religious leader who commits crime or who goes into money laundering or who harbors terrorists should not be treated for, for treated and into the, what they deserve legally. That's what our constitution does not say that. Our constitution insists on freedom of religion, freedom of, of religious choice, and for we do allow, we, we insist that every religion should be treated with respect and every religion should treat other religions with respect. There's a whole distinction we should make between religion and God himself. God himself is, uh, is, is one God, according to our faith, not only Christian faith, but also Islamic faith, 
and the faith of my ancestors. We believe in one God, and that one God is a God that is a God of goodness and of justice, and a God who will judge everybody at the end of time according to how they have behaved. These are common rounds that we have. Now, there are different religious bodies which are more or less like structures for, uh, for accessing God. These are very much also in the hands of human beings, and because of that, they may not always may measure up to what we expect of them to be. There's always a human dimension to every religion. But this is right. where religious bodies should themselves make sure that they live up to expectation. Uh, in Nigeria, since every religion is free to practice its own its religion according to its tenets, it also means that every religion has responsibility to make sure that they can uh, be held accountable for the yeah. way they practice their religion. Prolate of the Catholic Church, former president, now, person now, um, I, um, now, I heard you, hello, you, hello you, you, it is true that I made a statement in, in Vatican Radio about the Catholic Church in Africa, and that is based on a specific religious body, namely the Catholic Church in Africa. And looking at our records, we have every reason to say that we've made a great, we are made, we are improved, we are increasing, we are, we are growing in the Catholic Church in Africa, and that we are making a, a, a great impact on the lives of our people. We have evidence to show that. That's talking about my church, the, the African Catholic Church to which I belong. I cannot speak for any other group, whether Christian or Muslim or whatever group. Thank you so much for your contribution. Prelate, the Catholic Church, former president, Christian Association of Nigeria, Cardinal John Onayeko. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you very much. God bless you and bless our country, Nigeria.